with the help of the FBI, with some con confidential informants, they were able to um, gain the trust of this individual uh, to the point where several confidential informants were accompanying him on, on a tour of, of the Masonic um, building, as well as um, putting him in contact with some FBI agents. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett discussing the foiled terror plot in his city following the arrest of a man planning to target a prominent building there. 23-year-old Sami Mohammed Hamza planned to attack a Masonic temple and kill as many people as possible there. But now we're hearing the temple was not his first target. Originally, he wanted to go to the Middle East and carry out attacks in Jordan and Israel. But he never left these shores continuing to plot a massive attack here. Let's talk about it with our national security panel. Skyping in from Tampa, Colonel Derek Harvey, who's also the director of the Global Initiative on Civil Society and Conflict at the University of South Florida. And from Newsmax, Washington, the retired U.S. Army colonel who served in Iraq, Russia, and at the United Nations, Patrick Murray. Patrick's the author of the book, Government is the Problem. Gentlemen, we appreciate you taking time for us tonight on Newsmax Prime. Colonel Harvey, why would he go after the Masonic Temple in Milwaukee? Well, I'm not exactly sure why he targeted that temple. Um, the people that follow this brand of Islam uh, do target these types of symbols generally, in the, and it's part of a cultural religious crusade to eliminate anything that competes with the message in symbology of Muhammad and the Islamic faith. So, but I'm not sure that's the case with this individual. He strikes me as being a disaffected, uh, typical person that's been inspired by the social media from ISIS. And we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out. And Patrick, more often than not, it seems, and we heard the mayor talk about this, that, that the FBI, with its intelligence, is able to befriend the suspect what does the suspect end up doing, claiming he was entrapped by the feds? <clears throat> well, thank goodness for the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force, J.D. We know the FBI Director James Comey has told us that he has active ISIS and Islamic terrorist investigations going on in all 50 states, and this is just another one of those that they got in front of. The guy was um, going to, to gun ranges and practicing. He wanted to slaughter a lot of Americans because he couldn't get to Israel, but um, he's not exactly an Einstein either. I doubt he really knew what uh, the Masonic Temple was, but uh, fortunately for us, this, this attack was attrited, but there's going to be more. We have to stay alert. And uh, to that, Derek, we're hearing from British intelligence, ISIS, using sophisticated fake Syrian and Iraqi passports to smuggle jihadists into Europe, presumably one day through the flood of refugees to come into the United States. A uh, sophisticated uh, uh, approach by ISIS now, these counterfeit passports? Well, I think it's more sophisticated than what they've had, but... Here's the thing, they have access to the actual basic documents from the Syrian government. So yes, they're fake passports just because they've used the actual materials and processing that the Syrian government uses. So they're gonna be very hard to detect and I think it's gonna be an ongoing problem, particularly given the refugee situation, the lack of accountability, our lack of data and understanding about who these refugees really are and the poorest borders within Europe. Uh, Patrick, let me turn to you for another incredible image. As yesterday, Pope Francis met with the Iranian president. The first meeting between a pope and an Iranian leader in 17 years, they met for 40 minutes at the Vatican talking about human rights. It was reported that the Iranian president asked the pope to pray for him. Propaganda? 20 seconds. Absolutely, J.D. Iran is wasting no time in expanding their influence, not only in the Middle East, but in Europe as well, where they can pick up some trading partners. And so this guy's putting a soft face on Iran, but make no mistake, these guys are jackals. And if you want to ask, if I was the Pope and he said, pray for me, I'd say, fine. I'm going to pray that you're going to stop being a state sponsor of terror. I'm going to pray that you're going to stop wanting to wipe Israel off the map. And we will on have to leave it right there. Patrick That's and Derek, you have our thanks.
If you're five to ten years from retiring or already retired, here's an exclusive TV offer for Newsmax viewers only from Scott Carter, CEO of Lear Capital, the precious metals dealer. When banks failed and markets crashed, which investment helped protect your savings and also increased in value? Gold and silver. Call now to speak with a Lear Capital IRA specialist and ask for our gold and silver IRA rollover kit. And if you decide to roll over a portion of your retirement into gold or silver, we'll add $500 to your account free. When investors are given the right information, they make the right decisions. Let gold and silver help secure your retirement from another crash. Give us a call today. Don't miss this exclusive offer for Newsmax viewers just like you. Call 1-800-471-4500 or click on Lear500.com right now.